if patient of sinusitis comes to you then what prescription you make okay tell me the classification of nsaids nsaids okay mr arjun i want first of all to tell about your experience regarding the job and all this sir i have uh, worked in medical college for one year government medical college i have worked in talk hospital for around 6 months then i i have also worked as medical officer in uh, primary health center for 9 months during that period i got an opportunity to attend administration training for 3 months so, so i have a good experience in uh, administration what you learned in your interns so during my internship uh, i have attended uh, emergencies in casualty uh, emergency patient like pain abdomen epistaxis uh, these kind of patients and also during my internship we, uh, i used to attend camps in that i used to enjoy uh, going for camps seeing the patient and what is the role of mo sir so medical officer uh, role is looking after the opd seeing the patients uh, conducting asha meetings then seeing the administration part of the uh, primary health center conducting deliveries uh then uh, checking for uh, area of food adulteration or food poisoning in that area and conducting the camps some uh, then tubectomies doing vasectomies in that area population uh creating the awareness in the area population of that primary health center about the health and mosquito nets uh, seeing for any if there are diseases we have to check Okay, what about your MS in ENT? What you studied over there? So in my MS ENT, I have uh, mainly gone through the subject otorhinolaryngology in the ear conditions, uh, ear conditions like ear discharge, ear ache, and mainly like uh, chronic otitis media, cholesteatoma, hearing loss, sudden sensory neural hearing loss, and in nose. Uh, acute cases like epistaxis nasal obstruction because of deviated nasal septum nasal polyps and in throat uh, because of tonsillitis acute tonsillitis chronic tonsillitis foreign body in the esophagus foreign body in the larynx these are the main things i have learned in ms ent sir okay since you are from ent what are the hearing aids the so hearing aids are mainly classified into uh, conventional hearing aids uh then bone anchored hearing aids implantable hearing aids again there are different types air conduction hearing aids bone conduction hearing aids and there are different types available in the market like body worn hearing aids spectacular uh, spectacular type of hearing aids behind the hearing hearing aids in the canal hearing aids these are the different types of hearing aids sir okay one major question which amc mostly being asked like uh, if a small uh, children engulf a coin then what are the chances of uh, where it can get struck or something like that what are your views the foreign body coin first we have to confirm it from the parents whether it's a, a foreign body uh, whether coin or battery because management will vary if it is uh, batteries and all so first we have to confirm it from the parents then once we are sure then uh, at the same time check for uh, airway breathing circulation because because if it is in the lung then management will be different there will be difficulty in breathing stridor and all so after that uh, we have to send the patient for chest x ray epilateral view to see the foreign body at what extent it is and how many coins are there we have to see then immediately we have to take the child to ot by taking pediatric and anesthesia fitness then uh we have to remove the foreign body by using initially we can do one more maneuver is there just press over the chest and try to take it out but if it is not coming nowadays we won't practice that we directly take the child because it's a rude method so now we usually uh, we directly take the child to ot and we'll do esophagoscopy uh initially in the x ray only we will see at what level it is and most common site is cricopharynx or sometimes it will go up till uh, mid of esophagus till mid of the esophagus if it is there we can do esophagoscopy and remove the foreign body and it will come easily at that range if sometimes while removing there is a chance it goes inside the stomach that time it will be very difficult to remove so we can take pediatric surgery opinion for that 
even if it is not available uh, and coin is very small we can leave it for some time just wait and watch because it will come out by our gastrointestinal tract by itself but still if you want to confirm it we can take a pediatric surgery opinion or gastroenterologist opinion regarding it and after the removal we can start if there is any injury to the esophagus we have to start the child on antibiotics some analgesics these are uh, this is a big treatment okay Okay, your experience of working uh, almost you studied two years, and uh, you are MS also in ENT. So, how your experience and your higher education will be helpful to AMC? Ah uh, yes, sir. Because uh, in the higher education, I have learned uh, mainly ENT, so I I know more about these things in detail. So here uh, we can see ear related things, nose, which is mainly epistaxis. trauma induced epistaxis csf leak all these things and foreign body in the esophagus also is not that easily removed by uh, just mbbs doctor so uh, i think this is more uh, useful and we can handle things better okay then tell me something about uh, uh, ear infections like otitis media and all the otitis media is mainly the infection of middle ear part middle ear sac so there are, it is again divided into acute and chronic otitis media acute will be uh, followed by upper respiratory tract infection cold rhinitis so uh, in that when we see the tympanic membrane it will be congested so according to that we have to start the patient on antibiotics some nasal decongestants analgesics but if it is chronic otitis media that time again it is there are two types safe type and unsafe type if it is safe type the central perforation we can start the patient on culture sensitivity based on uh, culture sensitivity then we can plan uh, for surgery see a uh, safe type that is cortical mastectomy tympanoplasty if it is unsafe type and cholesteatoma treatment will be different we have to directly do the surgery that is modified radical mastectomy and the surgeries are done mainly to uh, uh, remove the disease of the ear and hearing will be moderately improved but hearing hearing will not improve 100% but uh, here we are trying to control the disease because there are other uh, infections and complications related to uh, otitis media like meningitis brain abscess uh, cerebral abscess just to avoid further complications uh, we are uh, doing this treatment okay tell me the classification of nsaids nsaids sir nsaids are uh, mainly classified into uh, cox2 inhibitors selective cox2 inhibitors preferential selective cox2 inhibitors analgesics with uh, antipyretics so can uh, you tell any selective selective, uh, selective uh, nsaid sir coxib selecoxib itoricoxib but selecoxib is banned now coxibs are almost Adirocoxib is running. Like it is having good result. Diclofenac is non-selective. Ah, okay. Even acyclofenac is non-selective. Nemesulide is selective. Ah, sir, nemesulide. But I believe adirocoxib is having better results, although it is little costly. But the results of adirocoxib is quite good. To you to tell something about flail chest. Sir, flail chest uh, is a type of. Uh... a uh, chest injury there is this contiguous fracture of 2 to 3 ribs uh, in a, with 2 uh, to 3 breaks in single rib okay all flail chest and uh, speak on stab to epigastrium stab injury so i didn't study this also no uh, but okay. uh, <laughs> no problem we have lot much time Okay, one my important question and personal question, like why you opted ENT as your career? Any reason? So I'm always inspired by surgeon, uh, my brother, and also I'm interested in the subject, and I feel surgeon's life uh, life is more uh, uh, like better compared to the medicine. So I preferred uh, ENT as my subject. Then what is uh, uh, cholesteatoma? Ah, sir, uh, cholesteatoma is a three-dimensional structure, usually in the form of sac, confined to the architecture of middle spaces, atheric antrum, has a capacity to erode the bone, and has a capacity to recur even after the complete removal of the disease. 
ओके ओके व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन एपिडेमिक एंडेमिक एंड पैंडेमिक सर एपिडेमिक इज अ ग्रुप ऑफ पीपल अफेक्टेड बाय द डिसीज न्यू डिसीज इन अ ग्रुप ऑफ द पीपल वेयर एज एंडेमिक इज अ डिसीज व्हिच इज कंफाइंड टू दैट पॉपुलेशन एंड नॉट फ्रॉम आउटसाइड इट इज कंफाइंड टू दैट एरिया अ पैंडेमिक इज सडन इंक्रीज इन डिसीज इन दैट एरिया फॉर एग्जांपल कोविड-19 एंड लाइक स्पीक समथिंग ऑन क्रोनिक स्मोकर्स तो क्रोनिक स्मोकर्स वो है और उनके लंग्स के अंदर चेंजेस होते हैं एम्फाइसिमेटस चेंज चेस्ट और क्रोनिक ब्रोंकाइटिस ये वाले दो चेंजेस हैं मेनली लंग्स में क्रोनिक स्मोकर्स इज मोर चांस ऑफ मैलिग्नेंसी आई कैन स्पीक ऑफ सर मेनली ओल कैविटी मैलिग्नेंसी एसोफेजियल मैलिग्नेंसी ओके टेल समथिंग अबाउट हाइड्रोसेफेलस सर हाइड्रोसेफेलस इज अ कंडीशन इन व्हिच देयर विल बी कलेक्शन ऑफ एयर वाटर इन द ब्रेन वेंट्रिकल्स यस followed by trauma or uh, infection like meningitis okay and what is sglt2 drugs so yes, uh, sodium glucose co transporter inhibitors drugs, yes sir usual uh, treatment of diabetes mellitus type 2 uh, chronic kidney disease heart failures and all okay if patient of sinusitis comes to you then what prescription you make so for sinusitis i advise uh, a course of antibiotic preferably amoxicillin and uh, nasal decongestants and some uh, antihistaminics and if headache is there i'll give some analgesics to the patient uh, can you tell me the gonorrhea treatment so gonorrhea uh, uh, treatment is azithromycin ceftriaxone cefixim penicillin group of drugs i prefer to use you have good command on antibiotics it's you told just now that antibiotic classification only you didn't uh, go through yeah. otherwise you are already prescribing and used to yes sir and uh, can you tell the management of burns how will you handle the burns cases so burn cases mainly the grading sir and different grades of burn some 7% or 9% is mainly divided for hands chest abdomen legs and uh, uh, silver alginate okay. is the main uh, ointment uh, give advice sir okay my next question to you is tell about amc arm medical corps what do you know so arm medical corps is a part of indian army uh, which is mainly take care of uh, army officers or their families and in a case of disasters uh, we have to go and uh, see the patients attend the emergencies in that condition okay arjun tell about your family sir so i live in a joint family my grandmother is a head of the family my dad is a retired professor i have four siblings all four of them are doctors so what you learned from your uh, siblings as you stated your all four of your brothers and are uh, uh, doctor so what you learned from them so i am always uh, inspired by uh, all the uh, brother and uh, sister from my family only from my grandfather my dad so i learned all uh, seeing doctors police officer and my dad is a professor so i have uh, learned many things from them and that inspires me a lot okay what are the common uh, diseases in ent nowadays uh, people comes to you since there is a change in weather the so nowadays uh, allergic rhinitis patients uh, sinusitis acute and uh, chronic sinusitis with nasal polyposis and ear infections like acute otitis media and gerd also i have seen sir and how are you feeling at pd classes 
how you come to know about pd classes i came to know about pd classes from youtube i was just searching i got your video then i thought it is interesting then i just wanted to see so again i started seeing few videos then i felt it's good and i contacted you then i got a number and i started watching you uh, and now how are you feeling with us so it's very good it's different for me actually after coming from the hospital this will be in my mind oh i have class today and uh, really it's a different thing there also i'll be doing all the work and there only in the opd i take some time and i'll be searching for answer what is this what is this answer then i don't know it's a kind of actually very good sir i don't know how but uh, i'm liking it okay the interview is almost uh, i have taken okay again i will take interview